Oh yeah. Got a little bit of an operation going right here. What's up guys, how we doing? Uh, we're gonna... It's really bad. What's good guys? Oh, fuck. Yo, what's up? <laughs> I don't know how to start a video. <laughs> Guys, how we doing? Uh, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna make. What's good, guys? How we doing? Today we're doing something really interesting, something that I've never done before. Basically, on Amazon, I bought a bunch of stuff to make soft plastic lures. Got the molds right here. I'm actually making my own mold, um, as well. That's drying right here. Um, I basically just took some weird cement stuff in my garage and then carved like a wooden. Uh, paddle tail and like stuck it in there and hopefully that'll work. I don't know if it's gonna work probably won't but um, But we got glitter. We got a bunch of different Options and colors we can make uh, And what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about taking this 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 pink sparkle putting it in clear Because as you know, it's like a saltwater angler like pink is like always good for anything and then we're gonna see if that works. We're gonna see if we can catch some striped bass on it. Maybe some bluefish, I don't know. There hasn't really been reports of bluefish yet, but like you never know, they could be here like any moment. So, um, welcome to my garage, by the way. This is my garage, it's a little bit messy, but I mean, whatever, what are you gonna do? Uh, so yeah, we're gonna see what we can do with that. Uh, we're, we're gonna make some baits, this is awesome. We're gonna make some baits and we're gonna catch some fish on it. So let's do this. First thing we gotta do, I'm gonna put a mask on. Here for, I don't know, two minutes, something like that. Just gotta plug it in though, that would help. When that's done, basically gonna keep mixing it, keep putting it in there. Uh, this is hardened liquid plastisol, but we're gonna turn it back into a liquid because that's what we need to do to get it into this mold right here, so. Oh, well, it didn't melt down completely, but we're gonna give it a little bit of a stir here. Okay, got some. We're gonna take some of these. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, now we got these, we're gonna mix those in there. Oh, those look good. Gonna mix that up real quick again. And we're ready to pour one. I might go back and pour another one, but. I like to start the tail first. While we wait a minute, I am going to pull this one out because this one looks like it's pretty much done. Still a bit hot. We're going to put that in the bowl of water. So that piece clean right off. I try to make it as straight as a chop as I can. Um, this doesn't usually take me so long. Now these molds, they don't come with the split tail, but they give you a little line to cut for the split tail. So we're going we're gonna to do that real quick. Mm, I think that's good. And you guys might see there's some bubbles in mine, and like I said, that's because I don't have a vacuum. Um, but wow, these came out great. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect little... Perfect little bait. Perfect. We're going to use that. We're going to keep it over here. What's good, guys? We're uh, grabbing the bait we just made. We're gonna see if we can catch some striped bass on it. I'm pretty excited. I think they're gonna, I mean, it's overcast. I mean, it's pretty early, but honestly, a couple days ago, I caught them around this time as well. So anything could happen, really. Oh, dude, this guy, 
this guy that just pulled out in front of me, he's he's been down here all the time. He's always down here. But this is the first time I see him this year. I wonder if that means there's bluefish around. I don't know. This should be interesting. Uh, but anyway, let's see if we can catch some fish on the lures we just made. Should be awesome. See you guys there. I don't know. I thought for sure there'd be some fish right here. All right, we're gonna try down on the dock. Luke are caught like way before the season. Could be, could be like a six pound fluke, seven pound fluke. Oh, I got something here. Oh, it's a fluke. Yeah, I can tell by the shakes. Oh, it could be a weak fish, actually. Not a fluke. Alrighty. Fluke. Yeah, no, I'm not complaining about that. I didn't even, I didn't even, uh, I didn't even really, yeah, you hit it on the fall. All right, so, Got a fluke on it. Successful, it catches fish. We know that for sure. We know that the fish will eat it. It feels good to do that, especially to catch fish on your own bait, your own your own color. Not your own design, but like that's a company's design. But the day I catch one on my own design is, is, is gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Um, but uh, we're heading back now. It's 606. Um, the reason why I'm heading back, I know there's a bite there but I think I'm gonna get some food in me I'm gonna head back down there I'm gonna fish until it's you know the end of uh, sunset and then I, I don't know the water looks really good really good we got a lot of wind uh, it's 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 just a good um, it's just good conditions for for all types of fishing so we're gonna head back there. I'll see you guys when we head back there. And uh, yeah, 